And new at 6.30 tonight, the 92nd annual Scripps National Spelling Bee is just days away and two local kids are competing, including 12-year-old Dario Javier. Now, Dario here just finished up sixth grade at Hyde Park Magnet School, and so now he is prepping for his moment in the spotlight. And 13 Action News anchor Jackie Kostick caught up with him earlier today. All right, I'm here with Dario Javier. This is going to be the first time that you're competing in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. How are you feeling about it? Uh, well, I, well, I'm right now feeling really nervous, but at the same time also pretty excited. Uh, first time, so. Absolutely. Dario, what goes into preparing yourself for this moment? Well, I mean, I do, I do have a stud list from the website, and I do have my own dictionary, but it's just on and off, you know, when I'm feeling like it. I don't want to stress myself out or else I'll, I won't actually learn any words. It's just going to be like repeating myself over and over. Absolutely. You've been in many spelling bees before. Uh, yeah, but this is the biggest one I've been in. Uh, in pre-K in the Philippines, I did have a school-wide spelling bee, and I was champion, but uh, first time actually being in, like, the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Which is a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel the pressure of that moment at all? Uh, definitely, but I also want to bask in it, you know. Absolutely. You know what, Dario, you are amazing. I'm impressed. <laughs> is it fun for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I get to flex on my friends, like, there, and, like, when I was, sometimes I'm just like, hey, you guys, ask me a word, and then I'll, and then you guys <laughs> got to buy me chips or something. <laughs> Great technique, I like it. I love Absolutely. it. He's basking in the pressure. Huh? Basking in the uh -huh. pressure, basking in the moment. He is just an amazing kid. Uh, yeah. He also taught me how to word, use the word flex, which right. you uh -huh. know made me happy. Um, <laughs> so obviously he knows how to spell a right. ton yeah. of words. Okay. Um, are you guys ready for your moment? We're ready. Okay, so We're Dario okay. has a word for you, so let's take that word. Mm. Epipodiali. I'm not even going to repeat it because uh -huh. I don't think I can. Epipoda yeah. something. Um, you sure he's not making it up? <laughs> he's not making it up. Okay. It, is it a, it's a medical term. Um, so Epo go ahead. Epipoda Lely. It's no, Epipo Lely. Ladies first, of course, <laughs> please. Yes, go well, ahead. Yes. Here's what I have. Uh -huh. E-P-I-P-O-L-I-D-E. -E. All right. You know what? That. that is not a bad guess. Uh -huh. Let's take it and see. Of course, Dario knows. Epipoda Lely. E -P -I -P -O -L -I -E. P O D I A L E. Epipodia. Oh, 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 that was close. I was really that I was was close. Really close. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. What were you just one, I was, one letter off? I was two letters off. All well, right. I had the L, but just in the wrong place. Oh my yeah. gosh. I, well, like, I like the challenge from Dark. Yeah, I, I do too. Me too. Okay. Me too. He, he was explaining all of these words, and I was like, I should know these because yeah. I'm a journalist. But <laughs> I would know yeah, that know. if we used it more. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> in TV, but we don't. Yeah. Well, we will be rooting for him. He's leaving tomorrow night for this big adventure. He's never been to DC, Maryland, the East Coast. Oh, he'll love it. So he's excited for that part of the adventure and, of course, the opportunity to uh, potentially win $50,000 yes, in this big, big event. So. I think we have an Ivy League child here yes, on Yes, I'd hand. say so. <laughs> he's uh, on his I'd way. I'd say so. Jackie, thank you so much. And Dario, go ahead and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Right. Get, get it, Dario. <laughs>